AI is no longer the future, it's the present and it's already changing our industry. That's why I've decided to share with you my top 3 AI web-based tools for image enhancement. These tools will upscale your renders, but they will also increase the realism in greenery and people, helping us automatically to have better renders. First, I will start with the easiest one, Leonardo AI. Here, we need to upload the image we want, but keep in mind that when upscaled, it should be less than 5 megapixels. Next, we need to set one of the most common parameters, creativity. A higher value means more freedom for the AI, while a lower value keeps the image close to the original. Another aspect we need to pay attention to is the upscaling factor, which is maximum of 2. We also have the option to add prompts. When upscale the image, we will see that the greenery is improved in both the foreground and background. There are no major visible mistakes except for the letters and numbers. However, this can be masked in Photoshop and usually this is the workflow. Keep the architecture and use the enhanced environment. The overall image looks like it's from a fairy tale, which can be nice in some cases. When it comes to interiors, it can work well, but if we set the creativity too high, the textures might change too much. It's a great tool for exteriors and interiors, but also if we have people in our renders. Another nice thing about Leonardo is that there is a free plan with credits available every day, which in my case is approximately 5 images per day with low resolution. Magnific AI is probably the leading tool for Arvis image enhancement and for a good reason. Since it's not the most affordable, I will reduce the size of the images by half before I start. Then, once they are upscaled, they will return to the same resolution. On the Magnific website, I need to select the upscaler and upload the image I want to enhance. Additionally, I must specify the upscaling factor from the drop-down menu. A limitation is that the upscaled image cannot exceed a resolution of 10K. One thing I really like is that Magnific offers different presets for various scenarios, such as nature, portraits, film and more. Since I have a house with a lot of greenery, I will choose the nature and landscapes preset. Before clicking on the upscale button, I can also see the cost in coins, which varies depending on the resolution and the upscaling factor. Click upscale. Ok, I really like it and if I zoom in, you will see that the trees look fantastic. However, the numbers and letters are still not accurate. The greenery in both the foreground and background is impressive and there is a cloud on the mountain. However, the edge on the wall appears somewhat distorted, but we can mask it in Photoshop. The trees also look really nice. Let's see how we can fix the wall edge. Resemblance is the setting that ensures the AI stays close to the original image. Lower values give the AI more freedom, while higher values restrict it. I will also decrease the creativity of the AI and observe the results. The wall edge is now fixed, but the letters on the wall are still incorrect. However, we can either use the original image with a mask or increase the resemblance further. Let's try another exterior, but this time I will type some prompts, such as adding mountains and clouds in the background. Furthermore, I will unleash Magnific's imagination by setting the creativity to 4, which will allow it to hallucinate more, and turning the resemblance down to 0. Ok, the greenery is enhanced and looks great. We have mountains in the background that also look great all doubt one of them appears to be floating. To fix that, we can again decrease the creativity and upscale again, or we can keep the creative result and mask that area in post-production. Magnific also works with interiors. For this, I will use the standard option, all doubt the film option can be used as well. With a creativity level of 3, I can achieve good results, but some of the textures are shifted again. If we want to fix this, we can increase the resemblance and decrease the creativity. When it comes to resolution, I found that it's not ideal with low resolution images, like the one of the woman here. However, using the same image in HD produces a better outcome. 
the girl looks much more realistic. As a result, we can replace all the people in our renders with their realistic versions. I also experimented with different renders and settings and I think that Magnific can be also a really good choice for initial visuals if we want to see how they can be improved. Maybe the best option when it comes to value versus quality is Crea AI. There is a free plan available with an option to upscale the image by 2. On the Crea website we need to go to enhance and add the render. If we want more control we can go to upscaling options and change a few parameters. Strain controls how much the AI will interfere similar to the creativity setting in Magnific or Leonardo. Resemblance defines how close we stay to the original. The balance between these two will define the amount of AI changes. I do not like the high quality here, so I prefer to keep it low. There are presets as well, but I prefer the default one. It also can work very well with people, other landscapes and interiors. Ok guys, that was all for that video. Tell me in the comments below if you are already using one of these tools and what you think about them. See you in the next video.